Hey all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm all the way up in northern Michigan and we're going to be doing some rock hunting on the beautiful beaches of Lake Huron right here behind us. I'm with my mother right now and I think with one of the best here in Michigan for rock hunting, Rob with Michigan Rocks. His channel's linked in the description below if you have not seen it. Definitely go check out his videos. He finds a ton of awesome stuff and was kind enough to take us out to one of his sites today and we're going to hopefully find some incredible stones. So I'm going to have Rob here in a second tell you about what we're going to be finding. Yeah, on this beach we should find a lot of Petoskey stones, some pudding stones, which is a conglomerate rock, um, other fossils, and just all kinds of glacial stuff too. So lots of variety here. It's, it's usually a good time. So I think the thing I'm mostly excited about today is the pudding stones. Those are absolutely beautiful stones, and I've never found one in my life. So that's definitely my goal today. But I'm just going to be keeping my eyes open for all kinds of other cool things. We're going to walk out to the beach now and start walking. It's going to be super windy, so please bear with us. But we're going to find some awesome stuff today. Let's go check it out. The amount of rocks here, y'all, is pure madness. And it's so exciting, and there's so much to look at. It's just going to be an awesome time out here. It's so windy too, oh my gosh. <laughs> Check it out. Rob just pointed out a Petoskey stone right there. Oh, let me wash it off a little bit. There we go. Oh, that's a gorgeous one. Pretty cool shape. Throw that in the big. Look what mom just picked up, another Petoskey stone. Rob says we're going to find a ton of these, so I'm sure we'll get more selective as time goes on, but that's awesome. Here you go, mom. There's a cool little, oh, it's a wave. <laughs> the wave's going to take it away. That's a very pretty little Petoskey stone right there. Oh, that is. That's awesome. Check this out, guys. Rob just pointed out that. That's actually a pudding stone right there. It's not great because it's just got one piece of that jasper in there. But that's what we're looking for with a bunch of those in it. So that will be really cool. And there's Petoskey stones everywhere right here. One. That's a nice one right there. Two. And three. They are just all over the place. This is an awesome, awesome beach. Look how this duck is just letting us hang out right by it. Gorgeous duck. Oh, you're looking right at me. But that guy over there is like, nah, I'm just going to keep walking. <laughs> There's a pudding stone right there. That's kind of cool. Little pieces of it. It's not insane, but I like it. It's pretty. That is awesome. Let's keep finding more of those, my friends. Oh! These waves are just trying to take all my rocks away, everybody. Look at this Petoskey stone right there. That one's really cool with that dark stuff in the middle. I like the contrast on that. And right here, look at this little piece of... That's Jasper, right, Rob? Chert. Oh, Chert. Oh, I keep saying Jasper. So that's Chert right there. A really nice blue color. I'll throw that in the bucket, too. Rob just pointed out that pudding stone right there. See the red pieces in there? Oh, that's pretty sweet. Nice little red ones right there in the quartz rock. Not bad. Look at that. Rob just pointed out that. Oh, that's cool, man. That's Look at that pudding stone. One. That one's a really cool one. That, that's a keeper for sure. That's nice. So that red, I don't remember if I said it, that red in there is Jasper. That's really cool. Nice. Check out that pudding stone right there. That is awesome. That's really cool. So Rob keeps finding the pudding stones. I gotta learn how to find them, but he keeps pointing them out for us, which is awesome. Look for the red. <laughs> so we gotta look for that red color. All right, yeah. let's keep looking. What's that one called, Rob? Whoa! That one's called Cladopora. Cladopora. It's a fossil in a black matrix, a coral fossil. That's really cool. Oh my gosh, I got water all over the lens. <laughs> That's a really cool one, man. That looks good. That would look great polished. Yeah, they, they do look nice pals. You can slice them up and make stuff out of them too. They look good that way. Nice. Good find. It's a really cool horn coral right there that Rob just picked up. That's awesome. Whoa, I'm losing my bucket. <laughs> not a bad one. We'll take it. All right, I've finally done it. It's not a great one, but it is a pudding stone. <laughs> it's got one piece of jasper in there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, let's find some more. There's a pudding stone right there if the waves don't take it away. That's a pretty cool one. It's got like a black piece right next to a red one. Ugh. All right, check this right here. That's called Goganda Tillite. That's what Rob has told me. 
And he says these are 2.6 billion years old. These are from 2.2. 2.2. 2.2 billion years old. And what's this rock in there? Granite? Yep. And they're clearly pushed in there by glaciers, I guess, is how they get all mashed together, right? Is oh, it glacial action? Glaciers. I think it's a sedimentary rock. Okay. Or maybe so, metamorphic. I'm not sure. It was sedimentary originally. That's really cool, though. The fact that they're so old is awesome. Not a bad one. I might not hold on to this one because it's heavy, but maybe I will. How about a nice Petoskey stone right there? That's sweet. And Mom, what did you just pick up? Pudding stone? Yeah. Look at that pudding stone right there that mom just picked up. Some red in there. That's awesome. Sweet! Throw them in the bucket. This one looks like another one of those Goganda tillite. They remind me of the pudding stones, but they're mostly granite put in that rock. But there's a piece of jasper right there, it looks like. That dark red. And that one's pretty cool. So I might hold on to that one until I find a better one at least. That's not bad. So I spotted this little pudding stone right here. It's got a couple in there. And then Rob was like, oh, there's two. And he saw that one right there with a couple little chunks in it too. Is that one as well? With a, Oh yeah. Maybe there's no literally in Just tiny up. pieces. But that's not bad, two right next to each other. That's pretty cool. That's a gorgeous Petoskey stone right there, everybody. That's sweet. Oh yeah, I like that side too. Throw that one in the bucket. Having an awesome time out here walking the beach, y'all. Sorry if the wind noise is insane. It's really, really windy out here, but what can you do? You gotta get out and hunt rocks still, no matter what. No matter what the conditions, bringing you out on the adventures with us. So hopefully y'all are enjoying today's video, and if you are, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's keep walking the beach and see what else we can find. Oh, there's a nice pudding snow. We gotta get it before the waves take it away. That's really nice. Buddy. That's really cool. That is not bad at all. Oh my gosh, I see the audio clipping from that wind. We go this way. Yeah. That is a nice one. Sweet. Rob's flipping over a huge pudding stone right here. So you never know what the other side's gonna look like. It's a giant. Not very good. <laughs> not very good. No. Uh, it's got some stuff in there, but not really crazy or anything. It's still cool to see. Look at right here. That's a pretty cool pudding stone right there. Not the whole thing though, but just right there. And then this little one I actually like even better. That's pretty sweet. Look at this crazy piece of Goganda Tillite that Rob just found. That is such a gorgeous piece. Really nice light colors in there. Like confetti in a rock. Confetti in a rock. That's awesome. Good stuff. I think you could take a drink of that, Rob. That looks good. <laughs> Y'all want some of that? Oh, man. This one's really cool. That Goganda Tillite. Look at that light color in there. I like that one a whole lot. That's gorgeous. This one right here is pretty cool. Rob says it's Unikite. Yeah, this uh, is Epidote. The mineral Epidote is the green. Okay. And then the red is Feldspar. Epidote and Feldspar, which creates Unikite? Unikite. 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 Yep. That's awesome. That's real pretty. Look at that. Oh, you can't see it now. The wind flipped it over. The wave slipped over. Look at that pudding stone right there. That's a pretty cool one right there. I like that. I'll throw that in the bucket. The rocks right here are a lot bigger than a lot of places on this beach. You just take a look at how cool some of them are. I mean, every rock has something cool to look at, right? Like. That one's got some red stuff stuck in it, and it's all kinds of cool stuff. And it's just beautiful out here. Can't get enough of it, my friends. That one's like reminds me a lot of a pudding stone with all the different colors in there. It's got some of the jaspers in there. That side's not as great, but that side's really cool. And <laughs> what's this right by your foot, Rob? That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. a, a pink color. I've thrown that in the tumbler a couple times, and they just don't uh, don't tumble up very well, but they are pretty. Seems kind of soft, yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. Nice. But cool rocks, though. I think I'll keep this one because I like that one a lot. Nice. Man, look at this big old pudding stone right there. Whoa. That thing's pretty cool. It's heavy as heck. But it's way too big to take home. Ugh. 
That's a pretty cool stone right there. Let's get a little closer on it. I like that. That's real pretty. <laughs> no idea what in the world it is. I have no idea what in the world most of these are, but a lot of them are so cool. That's a really cool pudding stone right there that Rob just picked up, man. Good white That's a, yeah, I like the white stone. That's a big boy. That one looks great. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> Wave, look at that pudding stone. Oh, it's huge. That's a really cool one. But it's, oh, look at the white right there. Oh, God. <laughs> Splashed me in the face. That's cool, but it's way too big. So we're going to leave it right there. Right there is a pudding stone. Oh, that one's cool. Look at the red in there. And there's that Petoskey stone right there. That Rob's spot. That one's really nice. And a little tiny pudding stone right there, too. Look at that. It's cool. Oh, and that mudstone. That's really pretty. That one's really cool. Man, this beach is just loaded with really cool rocks. This is a bunch of fun. Whoa! <laughs> that pretty neat mudstone right here. This is a kind of cool looking one. I don't think I can get it out. There we go. Really cool, all the layers in there. Isn't that neat? Really just kind of a pretty stone. Set it up here. Look at this right here, y'all. All these trees are tipped over and stuff. You go up here by the shore. I mean, the lake has been pushing stuff around so much that it's all pushed up in like a layer up there. Isn't that crazy? That's how hard this lake has pushed stuff up here with storms and all kinds of cool stuff. That is wild. That lake is just a powerful beast. It's way less windy right here too. <laughs> these waves are crazy. A little harder than you'd think to walk on this stuff too. Carrying a bucket full of rocks, walking through here. Kind of hard to keep your balance sometimes with rocks moving under your feet. But it makes a fun, challenging rock hunt, that's for sure. Oh, it's getting treacherous right here, guys. Rob just slipped and fell. The waves are getting bigger. There's less shoreline. It's crazy. This right here is like crazy treacherous look at look at those rocks get moved by the waves i mean those rocks literally get tumbled back there's all these down trees so we got a lot more obstacles right here <laughs> crawling under a tree <laughs> oh, here we go <laughs> gotta go around before the wave gets me <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> these waves are insane look at this y'all Rob's crazy. <laughs> He's getting a clip of that big rock. That big rock right there has pudding stone stuff in it. It's like a giant pudding stone. And Rob is a crazy human <laughs> coming out there, standing in those huge waves. <laughs> That's awesome. This part of the beach is so cool right here. All these down trees and the waves are just uh, pure madness. And there's cool stuff everywhere. Look at this cool stone. I don't know what to call that, but that's really cool right there. Just a real pretty rock. There's all kinds of cool stuff, no matter where you look. Look at that one. A big conglomerate of some sort. That's just awesome stuff. Okay, be sure to pick up trash while we're out here. Not cool. And another cup we're going to grab and take that out of here as well. Another one. Oh my gosh. Another pack. Who's eating out here? Oh, two right there. Gosh. Toss those out. Uh, clean up after people. Hey, look it. You dumped it on a pudding stone. <laughs> Some little, little pieces of it. That's funny. It's kind of a cool one right there. Look at that. I just love the little conglomerate stones like that. I bet that would look awesome polished. That's a cool one. So we walked a very long way. How far have we walked, Rob? Oh, I don't know, mile and a half, two miles? Mile and a half or two miles? That's a pretty long way walking, fighting some waves and walking on these slippery rocks and stuff. But we are finally making our way back and we're gonna see what we missed and see what else the waves have uncovered. So I'm excited to see what else we're gonna find. Let's keep going. Get right here. Check out right here, y'all. Putting stone down in there. Let's see if it's good. 
Oh, that's a pretty nice one, actually. I like that. Cool dark color right there. I think I'll keep that one for sure. Look, it goes all the way around the middle. That's an awesome one. Let's take it. Look at that pudding stone that Rob just picked up. That one's really cool. I like that. It's not all over it, but where it is looks good. Nice. That's a kind of cool one right there. Oh, yeah. We got all those colors in there. With like a quartz chunk right there. That's pretty cool. There's something else. Yeah, this one right here. Ah, look at the lines in that one. Oh, wow. The other side, that's really cool. Man, that's a gorgeous stone. I really like that a lot. That's sweet. <laughs> Is it going to skip? We're going to find out. Probably not. <laughs> Crazy waves. Oh. <laughs> kind of. Kind of a skip. <laughs> That's a pretty cool stone right there. Look at all those lines in there. That orange mixed with the green. That looks pretty awesome. Big old stone. <laughs> this one right here is pretty weird. It's got that big chunk of kind of green in there and then with that red around it. Kind of a neat one. I'm going to throw it to the side though. Man, look at this little guy that caught my eye right there. That thing is stunningly gorgeous. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> this stuff tried to take my bucket away. That one's really cool. I'm going to keep that for sure. It's like quartzite with some green stone in there. Nice. I really like these green ones with the orange stripes going through there. That is just so cool looking. This awesome rock. That's a pretty cool Petoskey stone right there. A very gorgeous one. Look at this little pudding stone right there. Oh. It's kind of different. It's not a great, I guess, but it's pretty cool. I like the little color in there in the long one. Kind of neat. There's a little, whoa, <laughs> a little pudding stone. Got a couple little rocks stuck in there. Ah, take it. Man, look at that. Look at that pudding stone that Rob just picked up. He just stopped for a little break and just saw that one sitting up in the side. That is a gorgeous pudding stone. Nice. Whoa. It's that pudding stone right there. Not the greatest one, but it's pretty cool. It's got a couple little stones stuck in there. I like that. We'll take it. Check out this very gorgeous unikite right there. Man, that is a gorgeous stone. I'm gonna hold on to that one. Whoa! It's a really neat little conglomerate stone right there. It's just real pretty. I don't know if I could get it to focus on it. Hold on there. There it goes. Isn't that cool? That's just a gorgeous stone. Look at that big old Petoskey stone right there. That's awesome. Not bad. There's a good old pudding stone right there. That one's pretty cool. Look at all that stuff stuck in there. That's awesome. Oh, man. That's a great one. That one's awesome. That's not good, but that makes up for it. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's really good. Nice one. Look at that. That looks sweet. That's a great pudding stone. Love that. We can. <laughs> Look at that, man. That's a beautiful one. Hey, that's the best one of the day. Yeah, like, oh, I'm losing my bucket. <laughs> yeah, I love that one. All right, everybody. So be sure to check out Rob's channel, Michigan Rocks, which is linked in my description below. He does videos on these beaches all the time and finds some incredible stones. I'm super thankful that he was kind enough to take us out here today to take y'all on an adventure as well and find some amazing stuff. So thanks for watching. I will see y'all in the next video. See ya.